science lovers, it's Becky with Lab Rat Academy and I just finished a really fun science lab and we were learning about anaerobic cellular respiration that is done by yeast. Yeast that you find is these little packages right here that you make bread out of. Now you can look up on the board and you can see how cellular respiration works for yeast because they don't even use oxygen when they're converting the sugars into energy. They don't even need oxygen like we do to convert those sugars to energy. They just have a special enzyme inside of their bodies that enable them to convert that sugar into energy. And one of the byproducts of that is carbon dioxide gas. But we had three different kinds of sugars that we wanted to test to see if the yeast kind of liked the sugar. If it did like the sugar, it would produce more carbon dioxide. Now obviously we have to have a control. In the control we don't put any sugar, so it was just water and the yeast. So they didn't have much carbon dioxide forming in that one at all. In the honey, you can see that it did get much bigger. So the yeast was able to convert that sugar of the honey into energy and the byproduct was the carbon dioxide gas that's forming in this one. The next biggest one, which is about the same size as the honey, was our corn syrup. This got big too, but the biggest one that the yeast liked the most was the sugar. Look how big that one got. The sugar was a sweetener that the yeast liked the most and we can tell because of how big our balloon of carbon dioxide got. That meant they did that they did more anaerobic cellular respiration to convert those sugars into energy. Wow, science is so amazing. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.